So welcome back to my uh, unplug sessions and uh, in this session I will basically explain how you can correctly install UCSF Chimera into your Linux system and once you have made use of the entire program and then if you want to uninstall it what is the correct procedure okay but before I start I just want to tell uh, that I have created four videos in the form of four episodes on my channel okay uh, so now I have kept all the files uh, for all those four uh, recordings I have kept it over here if I will be doing any more sessions uh, regarding this on Windows I will be keeping these files on the Windows desktop as well okay so this session that I will be doing it will be a very small sessions and I will uh, name it as not episodes but I will uh, name it as mid credits okay so let us quickly begin and uh, go to the browser and here for installation of UCSF Chimera we first need to go to its website okay so you simply type UCSF Chimera onto your Google and it will take to your take it to this page which says UCSF Chimera homepage just click it over there so once you come to this UCSF Chimera homepage on the left hand side you see there is something which says the download button okay so you just press on to this download uh, and uh, another web page will open which will provide you multiple options to install different versions of Chimera for different operating systems but now as we are using the Ubuntu system uh, so we will be downloading this version of Chimera which says Chimera 1.6 Linux so I will just click over it and as soon as uh, I click on it it will ask me to accept some uh, license agreement so you just click on accept and as soon as you click on accept what will happen is that it will start downloading your uh, Chimera into the downloads folder okay so if you are new to this Linux system by default if you are using uh, the Firefox the downloads will be done in the folder which says uh, download into this home folder okay so let me do this once again so this folder when you just click over it it will open a window like this and this is basically called as a home folder okay in Windows you call it as a folder uh, in Linux basically you use a terminology which says uh, directory okay so let me just check download has been done or not so here the download has been done so you just see the red button over here so red download option it says it has been done okay and it is uh, it will directly open this folder if I click over it but I will show you the correct path so you just go to this folder and over here there is this uh, directory which says download you just go over there and you just open it okay so now this is the file that has been downloaded so you just copy this file and move it to a place or uh, any location which is easily accessible to you and, uh, and the place which is easily remember uh, rememberable to you so you create a folder over here and you just write bio info bio info software so uh, a folder has been created and you just paste it over there okay so now in this bar info folder you have this bin file so you need to have this bin file in order to install Chimera so within this folder you simply do a right click with the mouse button and when you press the right click button this many options will appear on your screen you just go to the second last option which says open in terminal you click on it now as soon as you click this button what you will see is that your terminal of Linux has opened into the software which says bioinfo software so the same name will appear in the terminal as well correct so now you simply press ls okay so when you press ls you will see the file which is located in this folder or the directory okay so now as this file that you see is in the white color fonts it means that this file is not an executable file you have to create it executable Okay, so you have to convert this non-executable file to the executable file and for that the command is very simple I will just type it it says chmod then you need to give this plus symbol and then you write x and then you just type the initial chi and then press a tab button so as soon as you press tab the entire name will be automatically taken up and you hit enter 
okay so it will appear as if nothing has happened over here but now when you press ls once again and hit enter you will see uh, the entire name of chimera uh, bin file has been converted into the green color fonts means we have converted the non-executable file into the executable file by the command chmod okay so now the next step is to install it right so to install this you just need to give a command sudo sudo which stands for super user then you type full stop slash that's it and then you write chi and then put a tab button so when you just press tab the entire name will be automatically taken up by the terminal and you simply press enter it will ask for the password you give the computer password that that is there one two three four in my case and i will hit enter so now it is telling you the place where it is trying to install UCSF camera so it is telling me that it will uh, install it in slash opt UCSF and chimera so now where is this location we need to understand it uh, really well so what you do is let me close this window now we want to search this place where it is trying to install chimera right so it is slash slash uh, slash then opt then UCSF and then chimera so now we'll open this folder and we will go to this location we will try to locate this location so we'll keep this over here and uh, we will go to this place which says other location you just click it over there okay so now the first option that you see it means slash okay so the first slash over here means uh, they are talking about the slash with which is just um, alongside with the computer okay so this uh, when i click on this computer so when i simply click back i will go back and i will again click it over here I will go into this folder with say slash or, or I will say that I will go into the directory which is a slash directory okay so now this slash directory is in the Linux system it is called as a root directory so we are into the root so now in this root we have a folder which says an opt okay so the opt is this one so when we double click on it right now there will be nothing but as soon as we continue our things into the terminal what will happen it will try to create new folders over here so i will just press um, enter and keep an eye on the uh, window which is open on the left hand side so i will just press enter and now you can see a new folder has been created which says ucsf okay and uh, then it is saying install desktop menu you just simply press yes and hit enter so the cursor is blinking but that does not mean that nothing is happening uh, the linux is trying to install the installer file into into this folder okay so if you just see uh, new files and folders will be creating uh, over here inside so for now let it be over here okay so now it says that the installation is done and press return that means you need to simply press enter over here so you just press enter okay uh, now this terminal has come back with the dollar symbol over here that means the installation is done okay so the chimera has been successfully installed into your system so you can close this terminal uh, it said that it will be uh, creating a desktop icon but it has not created a desktop uh, desktop item uh, icon uh, so that is absolutely okay you don't need to worry about it uh, if chimera doesn't appear over here you just go to this application panel which uh, is this left and bottom button so when you press over it it will open the linux will open or the ubuntu will open the applications you scroll on the next page and you will see it is UCSF camera over here okay so yes UCSF camera has opened onto our system right now and we will just take a check whether it is working well or not so I will simply open one of the files from the previous uh, tutorial videos that I have created so I'll just go to file I will go to open and I will open one of the files from my previous video go to desktop uh, 6 cm4 multiple docking windows e4 that is episode 4 
I, if I click on this, it, it will have all the files from my previous videos. And then probably I will open this file which says 6cm4 resperidone docked pose 1. I will click over it and I will open. Okay. So if you can see, uh, Chimera has been properly installed into our system. Okay. And uh, the ligand is the resperidone that we have docked in the previous video is located right in the middle of uh, onto this um, active site. Okay. <coughs> now, uh, so this is how the installation has been done in uh, Linux. Now we will see how we can uninstall the same program. Okay. So we need to remember where we have installed this software. We have installed this software in a root opt directory okay so now let us go to root and opt directory again so uh, now i will be showing the process of uninstalling the program right so suppose if you are done with your uh, say bioinformatic things and you no longer need this software then i will be showing the correct way to uninstall this software okay so let us just once check the software icon is there in the uh, application drawer over here uh, so we'll go to this files option and then we'll just press on this other locations. You then go to this computer. So when you press on this computer, you're basically going into the root directory. So we are into the root directory now. And in the root directory, let me just uh, make it a full screen. Uh, we will go into the folder which says opt. So we'll go into this folder which is saying opt. Uh, this is the place where it has been installed. And this is again the folder where it has been installed, right? So this is the entire folder where all the files of Chimera are being installed. Okay. Uh, now, one thing that I want to tell you is that uh, in Linux, everything is file and folders, nothing else. Okay. So everything installation that is being done, all the files or all the necessary requirements of the software is being saved into the system in the form of files. Okay. So if you want to open it, uh, uh, the Chimera once again, uh, you can also go to this bin folder within this folder. Okay, you can come uh, to this page where you are seeing this Chimera. You can simply right click over here. And you can say open in terminal. Okay, so we have opened this into the terminal which, say, which is the bin folder. And you simply put full stop slash. And we are going to open this Chimera. And hit enter so yes did you see the camera just open it onto your system okay so now you know that how to open camera from this uh, place so how, how to run this camera command to open the camera from this bean folder uh, I will show you how you can uninstall the same camera from the same place okay so in the empty space once again you just press right click Go to this option which says open in terminal so it will open a window inside this terminal make sure it is a bin folder which has been shown over here it is a bin folder where we are working <coughs> now we just type su do for super user so you need to give the super user command to uninstall it okay so super in uh, super user then put a full stop put a slash and then you just type un Okay, I will and run and put a tab. So basically, we are trying to run this command in the terminal. Okay, so press enter, and you need to give the password of your system. Hit enter. Wait for a while for things to happen. Now it will take up to two to three minutes for the entire process to uh, be completed. So just wait. Uh, once this process is done you will see the um, the same line appear over here as well okay we'll wait for a while hold up to this so now as you see um, it could not be found press ok so if you just go to opt uh, then you will find this UCSF folder which is empty folder so this is UCSF folder which is an empty folder now and again when you go to this show applications button and then you scroll down you will not see the chimera icon over here as well okay 
so this is the correct way to uninstall the chimera uh, now in this opt folder you also have this uh, uh, in opt folder you have this another folder which is UCSF which is, which is basically empty okay so you can simply right click over it and delete it but it, it will not cut copy or it will not do anything why because we are in the root directory okay so now to remove this folder from here it, it is just an extra folder which is an empty folder you open a terminal in this uh, opt directory so you just right click in this empty space press open in terminal a terminal will open into this opt so within the opt directory and then you write sudo sudo because whatever you do inside the root directory okay you have to apply the command sudo and then you do rm for remove minus rf and you give the name of the folder you see and then put tab and hit enter it will ask for your system password hit enter and now you see the folder of UCSF is also disappeared from this place okay so this is the correct way to install and then uninstall chimera from your system I hope this video helps you uh, it is kind of uh, mid credits video uh, it is nothing to do with the programming that we have done it is just to help you keep your system in check okay so thank you for being with me we will see you in the next video